Hey everybody, it's Monday morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It looks like it's going to be warm and sunny and hot this week. Uh, so I want you to go out and build bridges. Be warm, sunny, and on fire for the Lord. As you're building bridges, remember the way to do that is to build your character. Allow God to change who you are from the inside out. Seeing is believing, and that's not a fish story. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back online and watch our service for this past Sunday, and you'll catch up on all that we've been sharing about in terms of building bridges. And as we're talking about that, each Sunday when we're uh, meeting together, you can host at your home, kind of your own neighborhood church. If you're watching online, invite some neighbors, some family friends to come join you, watch the service and uh, they can participate right in your home. Make your home a, a kind of a neighborhood church for people that are looking for hope in these challenging times. And of course, you don't have to do that on Sunday morning. It's available all week. So maybe you want to invite people over this week to view our service last Sunday and just have a great time sharing around the Word of God. So you be a bridge builder this week, however God wants to use you. Uh, let me catch you up on this week's schedule in terms of our ministries. Everything's regular this week in terms of our high school junior high and life groups. Uh, they're meeting at regular times, but uh, this Tuesday, tomorrow night, uh, 6 p.m., our LP kids are going to be starting up for the first time. As we told you, you should have gotten an invite if you have uh, kids in that age, an invite to a host group. If you didn't get one, uh, then be sure to uh, come to the church tomorrow night at 6 p.m. and Sarah will get you connected with a host group that you can be a part of. Uh, it's going to be an exciting LP kids, so make sure that your kids and grandkids are there joining us tomorrow night 6 uh, p.m. Also want to let you know that this Saturday at uh, 3 p.m. we'll be celebrating Nondis Madsen's life together at the church 3 p.m. this Saturday August 15th encouraging you to come all the same restrictions will be in place inviting you to wear your mask as you come in and once you're seated and distance from one another feel comfortable to take that off if you like or continue to wear it but we want to celebrate Nondis's life together support her family in their time of grieving that'll be this Saturday uh, at 3 p.m. And also want to let you know that uh, Catherine McNay's family has decided they're going to be doing a graveside service uh, in Riverside on Tuesday, August 18th, uh, but they're limited to just a handful of people. So that's going to just be for the family, uh, Catherine McNay's funeral on the 18th. That's what I know right now. And I want to encourage you this week, if you would help me as I prepare to do that service, I'm interested in you sharing with me maybe those special characteristics that uh, Catherine had shared with you in your relationship with her. Just looking for those one words, two or three words that describe Catherine, not a whole paragraph, but if you'd like to participate in that and I can share with the family just from friends who have loved her and the difference that uh, she made in their lives, I'd love to do that. So on the screen is my email and uh, the text line that you can send those characteristics of Catherine uh, that I can share with the family. I'd love to get those uh, this week sometime. Also, I want to let you know that Glenn Roberts has uh, been having some heart issues. He's been in the ICU and he would really value our prayers. Uh, his heart not working at full capacity and so I want you to be praying for him. And uh, as we look forward to this week of ministry, I want your heart to be at full capacity, caring for people around you, building bridges. Maybe this is the week to make a phone call, a visit, send a note to somebody that you can make a connection with this week to encourage them in their relationship with the Lord. Trust is going to be a great week of ministry for you as you're building bridges. We'll look forward to talking to you on Thursday. Have a great week, everybody.